Hey beautiful people, it's your girl T and I'm back to do a haul video. I haven't done one of these in quite a while, so I wanted to go ahead and um, show you guys just what I've hauled from, the, from about February to now, or maybe end of February, early March to now. So let me move this on over and we'll get started. All right. All right, the first um, item that I hauled was this um, Pictura. This is a Pictura um, Color in Medieval Times. And this is featuring the artwork of illustrator Levi Penfold. And so um, I'm actually collecting these Picturas. And this is one that I was not able to find at my local Ollie's. And I was able to find it on Book Outlet. Um, I'm not sure how much I paid for it, but um, yes, I really wanted this Medieval Times one. Take a look at the images in that. Very nice. And my um, my thought is to use only watercolors in these or ink tints just to make them more vibrant. And I like using water medium anyway. So this would be perfect for that. All right, so again, that's um, Pictura Coloring Medieval Times. All right, next we have A Million Unicorns uh, by Lulu Mayo. And this one I was also able to pick up at Book Outlet. I was pretty shocked to see it there. So I said, oh my gosh, let me go ahead and pick that up. Since I'm making a nice size order, I figured I'd go ahead and add this to it. And I don't think it was more than four, $4 or something like that. So, yay, I picked up another one for my collection. And that's A Million Unicorns. All right, the next set of books I got were from my husband. He gave me or bought me six of these mystery mosaics because I saw... Lisa loves with these books and I was like, "Ooh, I want to try it." <laughs> but of course, when you go to the website and you see the sale, you're like, "Oh my gosh, a sale." So I got all of these all of these for like 40 bucks, I think. And so he was like, "Go ahead, honey. Go get those books." So I went ahead and got those books, and I've completed this one. I've already done a completed video on this one. Um I'm sorry, completed book video on this one. Um it's really fun. Basically, it's like pixels, and they give you a color chart over here. And in the beginning of the book, here are what the colors should look like if you're going to use their color chart. Um, but I did not use my own color chart. <laughs> Whatever color I thought was purple was, pu was purple. So I got book one. That was book one. I got book six. Check that out. Now, I don't like looking at the back, uh, but I'll just show you guys one page of the back solution. So that is Mystery Mosaics, book six. I got book eight. I'll show you one page from that back. And these do have double pages. So this is what it looks like uncolored. And this is a double pager, I believe, yes. So you'll end up coloring this whole grid here. So fun, you guys. Um, I'm so addicted to these. I had to put them down. <laughs> I was like, okay, take a break, a couple weeks break before you get to the next book. <laughs> um, and then we have Mosaics book 11. And we'll show you a page from the back. And again, they will have double, like two, well, let's see. Three or four. You get four double page spreaders in each book. All right, and I got book 12. Show you what solution in the back. So that's book 12 and last but not least in this series is book 13 and I believe they have 16 books y'all look at the sloth so cute all right all right just one second all right the next book that I got was flowery dreams and I've done a flip through of this one already this one's by Yampuff. I'll just show you guys a few pictures. I have not yet colored in this book. I'm trying to get some um, whips done first before I 
venture into any of my new books or any books I have not colored in yet. All right, that's Flowery Dreams by Yampa. I then got Fantastic Fruits. I'm not, I don't think I did a, I may have done a flip through. I'm not sure. Maybe I did that on YouTube. But this is um, a, gra a Grammel or Grimmel. I don't know how they say that. Grimmel or Grammel Grove coloring book by Ralph Macielo. And basically it's about fruit, different fruits from um, Florida, I believe. Yeah, Key West, Florida. So I like this book because the images are huge. And so if you wanted to practice with soft pastels, um, watercolor, I mean, this is a book to, you know, give that a, a shot. And at the bottom of each page, it tells you the name of the fruit. Um, these are able to be cut out. I like that the picture is not all into the seam. You can get a pair of scissors or an X-Acto knife and cut that out if you wanted to, you know, frame these. So these are really nice. And I got this on Amazon, and I think I want to say it's less than $6. So then there's a dragon fruit dragon. <laughs> They're showing you how to draw it if you want if you want to try your hand at drawing this dragon fruit dragon. Um, I thought this was really nice. So I picked that one up. Again, that's Fantastic Fruits, a Grandma Grove coloring book. Nice, good quality paper, too, in that book. Next, I got 50 Graceful Unicorns. By Camelia Andrakova. Um, I got this book, and I don't know if I like it. I kind of, it's not really my thing. I, I don't know what, why I picked it up. Meaning, I'm not trying to be mean or anything. I, I, I don't typically buy a lot of books like this, so I'm not sure what drew me to it. Maybe because it's Camelia Andrakova. Um, but I'm going to probably gift this one to my niece. Um, but it's 50 Graceful Unicorns. All right. Um, the next one I got, this was from 2019, I believe. Yes, this was end of the year. Mystery Colors, Farm Animals. I am really into these mystery color books, guys. And so I was like, man, I want more. They're hard to find. You know, people are saying you can buy them at Walmart, but when you go to Walmart, they don't have any. So I decided to go ahead and subscribe to this uh, magazine subscription. So I went ahead and picked this one up and the one from last last month because I'm not probably going to be able to find it at the stores. And then hopefully by the time the next one comes out, I will have my um, magazine subscription being delivered to my home. But this one's going to be all farm animals. Um, I don't like looking at the grid, but I'll show you guys one page of it all right so mystery colors farm animals the next one i picked up was main street coloring book by Teresa goodridge one of my faves um i i've completed one of her books it's um in my uh, list of videos if you'd like to see that um but yes very nice very very nice and a little tidbit, she's in my um, Adult Coloring on a Budget Facebook group. She's a member in that one. And she actually told us that because I was asking her if these were inspired by the town she lives in. And come to find out, she told us, yes, these pictures are inspired by a little town that she lives in. And I thought this was so cool. So, so cool. Of course, you know, not every picture is. but um, But yes, this is inspired by... Uh, her town. So cool to know. Main Street Coloring Book by Teresa Goodrich. All right, the next items that I picked up were actual like art reference books and kind of like art books. So I picked up the painting workbook, How to Get Started and Stay Inspired. 52 prompt projects, project prompts, sorry. <laughs> um, just to get, you know, <clears throat> some ideas of what to do because being in quarantine, <laughs> you know, I'm like, oh, I want to do something, but I kind of don't know what I want to do. So I got this just to inspire me. Um, I like the prompts. Um, then I can kind of like do my own thing based on some of the instructions they have or what product to use. 
So yes, pick that up, the painting workbook. All right, and I also picked up Botanical Illustration. Um, the next 10 lessons, color and composition. So I like botanicals, I love plants and flowers, and I'm always wondering how you're supposed to color them or illustrate them. And so I like to pick up books that help me with flowers, um, color, sketching, um, you know, anything that helps me with that. This is a watercolor, um, I believe this is for watercolor. Um, but yes, very nice book. All right. And the last one I picked up was drawing the head and figure. I am horrible at drawing people. <laughs> Probably not as horrible as I think I am. Um, I just, when I was in art school, I dreaded the assignments where we had to draw people because I just knew this was going to be not a good grade for me. <laughs> So I decided to pick up this just to get some more practice. Um, I like this, how, you know, they're giving you step-by-step, -step, um, you know, changing directions of figures. It kind of reminds you of like an old school, like a vintage drawing book from the past. It's very, very cool. I like the style of the book and um, how they're instructing in here. So... I went ahead and picked that up. All right. And that was it for books. Now on to supplies. All right. The first thing I picked up were the new Sakura. The new Sakura gel pens. Sorry. <laughs> Zoom in for you guys. Um, look at these gorgeous colors. Oh, my goodness. Yes. These are the new Moonlight 06s. Um, the pastels and the, I believe they're called um, neutrals, I think. Here's what the case looks like if you're interested. I just have it flipped over. Um, and then I picked up the grays. So these are the gray tones, also moonlights. These are the new ones. Um, I got these on Dick Blick. Um, so yes, I picked those up. Next, I picked up this cute little case that holds 72 pencils. I've already put some pencils in there, but I love the cute little bumblebees. Oh, it's so cute. I said, I, I need that. I needed a case and I was like, oh, that's so cute. So in here I have the, um, what are these? The pieces ons, my new ones that I got from the art fair. So they're in here. So I like that they have the single um, elastic loops instead of like the one strip that you can fit three. I don't really care for those ones, so I picked that up. All right. Um, next item I picked up were the 120 Arteza Expert Color Pencils. Yay! I'm so happy about these. So I haven't done a swatch of these yet. Um, I haven't even used them yet because I... I'm one of those people, I kind of want to put them in cases and um, do swatches before I use them. But I might go ahead and start using them. Look at all those beautiful colors. Here. I don't like the case. It's, they're hard to get out. There's too many in here. Look at those beautiful colors. But if you're looking for an inexpensive quality pencil oil based I would suggest the set of Arteza because these are really really nice pencils for the price um, they blend well they're nice they're creamy I love them um, you know if these pencils were around when I first started coloring I probably would not have purchased a lot of the pencils that I did a lot of the um, you know budget friendly ones I would have gone with these and then just left it right at having these. So those are the Arteza 120 Expert Colored Pencils. And very nice, very nice set. I do not like this case, so I will have to buy one. But I'm definitely, definitely going to keep this tin because it's a nice 
wide tin. You can use it for other things. Maybe cover it, paint on it or something like that and use it for something else. But yes, Arteza 120 colored pencils. All right. Next item I picked up were these watercolors. And I'm going to have to open these up, so bear with me. I didn't, I've not opened these yet. Um, open those right on up. Um, they are called Pretty Excellent Watercolor. There's 36 of them. And these have gotten some really good reviews. So I decided to, look at how cute the case is. Let me zoom in here. So cute, look at this case. Very cute case. So let's go ahead and get this open. Let me see how I open this, okay. Let's see what we have inside. So this is an unboxing, I guess. <laughs> All right, so we have this little card. Cannot read that. It is in, I believe, Chinese maybe. I'm not really sure. Should not assume. All right, and ooh, look, it comes with a water brush and a color chart that I can use um, to, you know, put the colors here, and I can keep this inside of here. I like that. I really do. And again, an, a water brush. And then you have the colors under this plastic here. I'll take that off. They're supposed to be really, really vibrant. So, um, but they look very vibrant just sitting in these pans. Um, unfortunately, these are not gonna be replaceable pans. So if I wanted to, yeah, if I wanted to get more of these, I'd have to buy a whole new set. All right, so there are the watercolor. Pretty excellent, they're called. I like that they like, they named them something like that. Cute tin, I love the color. And then the back has this ring, so if you're working, you're traveling with it, you can hold it and work. Hold it on your finger like this, or you can put it on your middle finger, however, whatever works for you, and you work, you can hold it like that. So that is really, really nice, really nice. I can't wait to use those. I might use them this weekend. All right, and the last item I'd like to share with you guys, and I've already posted a review of them, um, would be the Polycolor 144 set um, by Koei Noor. And it comes with two tens. You can see the review I've done. Um, I'll just show you real quick for those people who have not seen that yet and just jump to the haul video. Um, we have some awesome colors here. First tray, second tray. And 10 2, same concept. You're going to have two trays of color. So here's the first tray. And the second tray. Beautiful, beautiful colors. Very happy about this set. If you just get one and you like Queen Or, I definitely recommend these. All right. So that is all that I had, y'all. I hope that everyone is staying safe and everyone is, you know, um, being mindful of any rules that are, you know, are established in your towns in regards to, you know, dis social distancing, um, the cyber meetings and the cyberly gathering <laughs> um, is really, really increased. So if that's, you know, something that you like to do, by all means, use some of those apps like House Party and Zoom, like, like to just communicate with your friends and have like virtual parties and stuff. So in my um, actual Facebook group, Adult Coloring on a Budget, we're actually going to be having our first house party tomorrow, So, um, which will be Friday. Um, I don't know when this video will go up, but Friday, May 1st. So I'm really excited about it, and um, I hope that you guys can get together with your loved ones and your friends 
and share some quality time that way. Until next time, y'all, take care.